Hello and welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be a Killstar haul. So I know a lot of you always like the Killstar hauls. I did do one recently which I'll link in the eye if you haven't seen that one already. Um, but this one is mainly of their new collection. So if you like the sound of that do keep on watching, do subscribe and I will get straight into the haul. I've got four items to show you today. I've got two dresses, a top and a skirt. Three of them are from kind of their newer collections um, but by the time this video goes up they'll probably have another like three collections out by this point. I did do a Killstar haul recently and I hauled the red velvet like long sleeve dress. They seem to be releasing their collections in two parts at the moment which is a bit strange but they released another dress and it was the same material but it looked more in a style that I liked. So I was like, oh, I should have waited for this one. So I placed this order mainly for that dress because I thought if I prefer this one, I might end up selling the other one. But actually it turns out I don't actually like this one and it will be going back. So I think that's the piece I will start with as I've already started talking about it. But this is called the Julian Velvet Keyhole Dress. And they also do this one in black as well. And this is what this one looks like it might be a bit difficult to see it's kind of got like a neck piece and then this kind of cut out detail with some sleeves and it just looks like in a nicer style and it seemed like in a style that would suit me a lot better also sorry if my voice sounds a bit like funny throughout this video i am like just over a cold that lasted like a week so if I cough or if my voice sounds strange, that is why. As with all of my clothing hauls, I'll go through the details, the quality, the fit, and I'll also have a try on of each piece after I've talked about it. But this starts off with this really thick piece of velvet, and this is actually quite a thick piece. And it's got this lace frill on kind of either side of it. So that goes around your neck, and then you've got this big cutout area of the chest it's kind of like a square neck but it does slightly go into a sweetheart neckline and there is lace also on the shoulders which is really pretty and then also a lace trim around the bust as well and it is a really nice like deep red too it's the exact same color as the long sleeved one it's got these really cute puffy sleeves with elastic here so they are very comfortable and then it does have the kind of keyhole design on the back with these two buttons so you can get it very tight around your neck and then the rest of the dress just kind of goes straight down it's not a skater style it is more of an a-line i would say and then it does have this really nice lace trim all the way around the end of it and the last detail is it does have this kind of corset back to it as well so you can tie it in and get it to look quite flattering those are the details and when i got it out i was really excited because the quality of it actually seems really amazing like i always like kill stars velvet and lace pieces i always think the quality is really nice and i haven't had any issues with those also the velvet does seem really like soft and thick velvet which is nice so i'd say the quality of this one is pretty good However, I didn't like the shape of it. There were three things that kind of put me off this dress. And the first one is this neck piece. So although I liked the detail of this, it is very, very thick. And I think if it was a bit thinner, it wouldn't have been an issue. But when it's on your neck, like it, li <laughs> like it really looks like chunky. And I'm someone who's really used to wearing like a choker every day and I found this very uncomfortable. I found that it was really, really tight and they don't have any like adjustable options. Like they don't have different buttons or anything that you can make it tighter or looser. And even looking at it now, like that's the size your neck has to fit in, which is very, very small. And I do have like a slim neck, I would say. So I'd say this is very limiting like i'm not surprised this was tight on me looking at it now especially because like it's so thick the width of it is quite a lot and it literally doesn't have stretch to it so that was the first issue it was very uncomfortable it just felt very restrictive and i really didn't like that i feel like if they had different options or different like buttons on the back 
um, that would have helped or even had this piece a little bit thinner like have the velvet half the length and just do a little lace trim just feel like that would have been a lot nicer the second issue i had with it is because it's not a skater style dress it's not bodycon either but it does kind of cling to you and then kind of go out more towards like your hips it doesn't like flare out at the waist or anything i did find this dress to be very clingy especially around the stomach area i didn't think it looked that flattering and i just didn't really like how it looked on me i think the length was really nice on this one this one isn't as long as the other velvet one so if you liked the length of that this might be too short on you but if you didn't like the length of the other one this would be a good length for you i do like all the lace details on it i think the red lace is actually very very pretty i hope they bring out more stuff in this red lace because i really really like it and the other issue i had was although it was clingy around like the stomach the chest area was so gapy like it wasn't noticeably gapy but as soon as you bent down it would kind of do that like v thing and just everything was on show so it just didn't fit me the best like the neck was tight the kind of waist didn't feel tight but it just looked clingy and then the chest area was too big so it just didn't fit me very well that's why this one will be going back it does come with a spare button um and it also has new tags because this is one of the new ones so this says it's not my fault you thought i was normal in this kind of gothic text so it's nice again to see some new tags inside because i feel like they haven't redone them in quite a while overall i liked this dress in theory i thought it looked really nice on the model but i didn't like how it looked on me i didn't like the fit of it um which is a shame because i actually really like the red velvet and i really like the lace that's on it i do think it's pretty but it just didn't fit the best and realistically when i had it on i was like i cannot think of one place where i'd feel comfortable wearing this so this one will be going back unfortunately complain about Killstar's pricing how they have increased and I've always kind of said that their short sleeve dresses have always kind of been around 40 pounds I think the like Wednesday Adams dress that I got was 39.99 and that was like five years ago maybe so I've always said that their like short sleeve dresses have always been around 40 so this dress originally cost 44 pounds 99 I don't think that's too crazy for a dress honestly I mean I wouldn't pay it I always wait for a sale but as a starting point considering Killstar always having sales I don't think that's a bad price because as I said their short sleeve dresses have always kind of been around 40 maybe like 35 um and with the prices of everything increasing I don't think that's too crazy um and it does have a lot of detail on it i did end up getting it for 33 pound 74 so i think i either got 25 percent or 30 percent off in the easter sale i'll go on to the top next and this is the item that i kind of had my eye on i don't know i just never really picked it so this is called the i'm not sure how you say it because it starts with like an x xara keyhole top probably said that completely wrong um but this is definitely one of their older pieces like it's right at the bottom of the website on the tops i mentioned in my other killstar haul you might remember i got that if you've seen it the eternally yours was that what it was called it was like a velvet top with like a lace panel but the sleeves were really odd and short and i was looking for a top in that style because i absolutely love the rain mesh top it's one of my favorite killstar pieces i i absolutely love it and i wanted something in that style for when that top's in the wash <laughs> i found this and this is literally the same style it's a lot simpler more simple than the rain top but i actually really really like it and it's perfect if you've got like a really 
detailed patterned skirt and you don't know what to put with it like i feel like this is a really good staple item and it was a very good price as well so it does have quite a high neck on it which i really like and then it does kind of have that panel with the keyhole detail so this is cut out so it's a really nice flattering look and then it's got just short sleeves and although they do this where they've kind of cut the like underarm piece here it's not too short where your arms look strange like it kind of matches up with the main mesh top like it's very similar in like the sleeve length to that and then the only real detail it has on it is these little kind of eyelet pieces on the shoulders that go into these d-rings these do say kill star so you know that they've been made by them and those sit either side on the shoulders and that's basically it the rest of it is kind of a black simple top and i know some people don't like this material i think it's like rayon yeah 95 percent rayon five percent elastane although people don't like this material this material is so flattering like i absolutely love this top and it looks really good with shorts as well i recently got some disturbia shorts and this looks so good with them I feel like because it's more on the simple side you can really pair it with a lot of different outfits i'm actually really pleased with this i really like those more basic things because sometimes if i have like a really nice skirt and i'm just like oh I, I don't have anything to put with it like this is perfect it is on the thin side it might be an issue quality wise but i don't mind it because this is definitely going to be a summer piece for me i did get it in a small as well i forgot to say i got everything in a small in this haul and this fits me perfectly um, this originally cost £19.99, which is standard for a Killstar basic top, I would say. But I did get it for £14.99, and I'm very glad I picked this one up. The only thing I will say is the label, you might be able to see when I've held it up, it sits a little bit strange. Like, it's in a very odd place. But I do think this label is a bit odd. Honestly, I don't feel it too much when it's on but i just think the placement of it is strange like why not just put it on the side <laughs> but yeah if you're looking for more simple black tops with like a tiny bit of detail i would recommend this one in this order is a dress and then i also placed like another order with one other thing I went back and forth with this one because i always said that i don't like wearing things with crosses on or like too many religious symbols i just always like stayed away from that two of the pieces i've got from killstar that have crosses on are definitely my favorite things so i'm trying not to be as like about that but they released this collection and it's literally like a cross themed collection i saw this dress and i just thought it looked really cute really different to what i have and this one is called the crossed chloe flocked skater dress i saw one of the models wear this in a reel and it looked really cute and this is basically a skater dress so it's in my favorite style and it's kind of a black on black print so it's like a thickish black material um it's definitely not see-through like at all i think it's the same material that they used on that halter neck dress that i have with the skull and crossbones on like it's definitely a thick material but it does have some stretch to it and it basically has these really pretty crosses all over it but they're very gothic and very ornate so hopefully you can see that but the print is so pretty it's almost like church like with like the windows and everything like the print is really nice i got this one and i thought if i really don't like it i'll send it back but i actually do really like it there was one thing that almost put me off which i'll talk about in a minute but the main details is it does have this really unique neckline so it does go quite high at the back of your neck as you can probably tell and then it does this like shape so it almost starts like a square neck but then it does go into i think this is a sweetheart neckline and it does have this black frill all the way around and then 
that's kind of the chest area it does have these really cute sleeves again they're not too short or anything it does have this bow in the middle which honestly i'm not crazy about it doesn't look the best and then it basically flares out into a skater skirt and it looks really nice and almost in like a lolita -y style like it sits really really nice and yeah the back just has the print on and there is a huge zip that goes all the way from the neck down to here so definitely a long zip to get into it design wise i really like it and i really like the print however as i said i don't like this bow i like that there is a bow on here i do think it needs a bow but i don't like how this sits it just sits very strange i don't think that really adds anything to it it would have been nicer if it I don't know maybe if it was made of a different material maybe a velvet and it just sat a bit better like i'm not too crazy about that and the other thing is i was actually a bit put off by the skirt area of it i put it on and to be honest i was actually thinking of returning it because the skirt just looked very big like i liked how it puffed out but it just had it almost feels like it's got too much material on it because you can pick up the skirt and literally lift it up to here and it's still going like i feel like there's just almost too much material it would be good for a petticoat if you want to do that with it so yeah the skirt kind of threw me i was actually looking through the website hoping that i could find the top version of this so i was hoping there'd be a top like here to here because honestly if they would have had that i might have swapped this for that because the top area is so flattering it's so cute and that's what made me keep it and kind of get over the skirt it's a bit hard to explain but you might be able to see it better in the try on it's just very creased because there's so much material i don't know there's just something about it that i didn't really like in like the skirt area of it and this is not a cheap dress this originally cost 55 pound 99 and this is what i mean by like this price compared to the velvet one so the velvet one cost 44.99 and this one costs 55.99 so there is a 10 pound difference and it is still a short sleeved dress so this one i do feel like is overpriced i don't know if it's the price of getting this printed on top of it maybe that's the difference kind of basic short sleeve dress okay it has a print on it but apart from that there isn't really any detail maybe apart from this frill but that's not too crazy so i do feel like this is quite overpriced for what it is so i did end up paying 41.99 for it and that was including a discount so i do feel like this is a lot more expensive than the other dresses i'd say if you are after this definitely try and get it in the sale so it almost brings it down to a normal price size wise for this i got it in a small it fits perfectly like the top half is really flattering really nice and the skirt is fine i believe the length was okay as well not sure if i can really say about the quality of this to be honest because it, it feels like a nice quality but i think the true test with this will be if the velvet stays on the material in the wash i think that's where any quality issues will kind of arise <laughs> if you do have anything similar to this or even this dress and you've washed it do let me know in the comments your experience because that would be nice for everyone to know i would really hope so for a dress that's 56 pounds came to £90.72 and I had built up enough points for a £10 voucher so I actually paid £80 for all of that so it was definitely a very good price for two dresses and a top from Killstar £80 I feel like that's quite good with free delivery got a bargain always love a bargain that stuff arrived and I was waiting to film but because of my voice and because of my cold I literally couldn't in that time they then had this like 15 pound deal and they were adding things every day to this 15 pound sale originally I was put off but I did give in and buy it because it went into the 15 pound sale 
So I think this skirt originally, this is an expensive skirt. I wonder it went into the £15 sale because this skirt costs £37.99. And apart from a few lace panels, there really is like no detail to it. So I'd say, again, this is an example of like the prices increasing. This is called the Leicester Velvet Mini Skirt. And I got it in the blood colour because love some red velvet. And as I said, $37.99. That is a lot. I do have a few other velvet skirts. I'm literally wearing one right now. And I believe this was originally like 30 maybe or even less and i have two from select when i don't even know if select's still around i don't even know but i got those for like 10 pounds so i don't think velvet is that much to really make if this was 30 i'd say okay fine but like 38 that's getting to the price of like a full-on dress so i do think this is overpriced and again definitely wait for sale with this one they ha also have it in black if you're not into red but it's basically this very pointy gator style skirt so it does have a nice waistband it's not too thick but it also doesn't have that material in it that flips because that drives me crazy <laughs> yeah it's basically a red velvet skirt that goes into all of these points i've been looking for a skirt like this for a really long time so that's why i gave into it but I just think it looks so witchy, so vampy, like it's got a really unique style to it. And then in four places, it's got these lace panels. And this lace is gorgeous, like with the roses and the colour of it. It's very pretty. And it's got two of those kind of going down the front and two of them on the back. And my main issue with this skirt when it came out, like when it came out, I was so excited. I was like, yes, a red velvet skirt, because they are hard to find red velvet skirts in like that vampy style. I was like, yes, this is made for me. And then I saw the lace panels and originally I was like, oh, I was really put off because I was like, if I wanted to wear this in the summer with like fishnet tights, you are 100% going to see your underwear. I'll, I'll get it, I'll try it on. If I really don't like it, I'll send it back, but I will be keeping it. <laughs> and I thought, I mainly wear black tights anyway, apart from the summer, and I don't think it would be visible if you're wearing thick black tights. And if it is, you could, as my friend suggested, wear like shorts underneath. So I thought that's what I'll do because I did really like it and £15 was an absolute bargain and I do like the contrast of the lace I just wish maybe it didn't go up so high maybe if it stopped there instead or I don't know they put something underneath it that made it less visible um, I feel like they could have done that but I do like the lace because it does add like different textures in with it the fit of it is very good I'm a size small it fits me perfectly it's one of those like true to size ones and the quality again is the same velvet of that dress it's a nice like thick not the crushed velvet it does feel like a really really nice quality I did see like a few loose threads on it and I think there was one on like the corner like, it doesn't look finished off the best. Like, I'd say some of the stitching is a bit messy and there are a few loose threads on it. For the price I paid, I don't mind because it's, it's not supposed to be, like, a perfect skirt, I don't think. If I would have paid 38 it would have been a different story. <laughs> try and work around the lace panels because I do think it's a really nice skirt and I just love stuff in this red velvet because I don't actually have a lot of red clothes. I also had a £5 voucher because one of you used my referral link so thank you so much for that. I do have a referral link for Killstar. I'll leave it in the top of the description so if you tap the drop down there'll be a link and that gives you £5 off your order and it also gives me £5 off my order so that means I'm able to use them in future videos like as I said I got an extra £5 off for this which covered the delivery which made it 
a lot more affordable for me so thank you so much for that but you can use the referral link on top of sales so as long as it's not a coupon and it's applied already on the site you can actually take the five pounds off of there as well if you would like to use that i'll leave it in the top of the description box for you so i do hope that this video helps you especially if you are looking at these pieces maybe you're not sure maybe you wanted to see some reviews first because i haven't seen any reviews of these pieces like more of their newer things so i do hope this helps you make a decision or just give you some more information about them I do like this video if you enjoyed it do subscribe if you'd like to see more kill star hauls i will link some throughout this video in the eye so you can go and watch them let me know in the comments as i said if you've got any of that black on black print whether it stays on in the wash whether you picked up anything in their easter or 15 pound sale do let me know in the comments do subscribe and hopefully i'll see you in my next video Bye.